comprehensive messaging device from Research in Motion bound for the T-Mobile network. Let's take a quick spin around this new phone's hardware. Perhaps the biggest feature that's worth pointing out is the fact that this BlackBerry does not have a trackball, which has been uh, the main navigational tool on Blackberries for the last few years, and it is replaced instead with an optical mouse pad. Um, this is used to interact with the screen rather than scrolling around. And in our few moments of testing, it is actually quite responsive. It's one of the best optical trackpads I've used, and I thought it worked pretty well. Um, so that's a nice little surprise that this uh, this new feature, this new uh, new technology for a uh, BlackBerry device, uh, actually does work pretty good. As for the keyboard, it is uh, it's it's it is small. It's on the smaller side, and the keys are uh, are tight tightly packed together. They've got a little bit less shape and a little bit less contouring. Uh, when compared to devices such as the Tor or the Bold, and um, you know that leads to uh, a little bit more trouble finding each particular key as you're typing. Um, but you know, uh, Research in Motion generally does a good job with its keyboards, and this one's still very usable. And we have send and end keys, uh, the BlackBerry key, and the uh, back key. Taking a look uh, around the phone, we've got a full three and a half millimeter headset jack here, micro USB port and uh, difficult to see convenience key here uh, that's covered with rubber. This uh, rim around the edge of the phone is rubberized which makes it uh, easy to grip and uh, you can see here on the right side of the phone we've got another application key as well as the uh, volume toggle here also hidden under the rubber coating. On the back we have the 2 megapixel camera with no flash, no autofocus, just standard 2 megapixel, although it does capture video. SIM card and of course micro SD card go here under the battery cover. So let's take a little bit about the a little bit of a look at the software that is on the 8520. So here's the basic home screen on the 8520. This thing uses uh, BlackBerry OS software 4.6.1, which is a little bit older than some of the um, the software shipping on other Blackberries such as the Tor or the Bold, which are running on 4.7 and up. Um, you know, it's got uh, it does have improved graphics compared to uh, some of the older styles, but it's still not the brand newest operating system from RIM. Hitting the uh, BlackBerry key, we can go to the full menu here, and you can see we've got access to uh, all sorts of different features. And uh, we'll go into music real quick because I forgot to show you something earlier. Once we start some music playback, we have some controls along the top of the phone. You can see them here. We've got a uh, you know rewind key, a play pause key, and a uh, forward key. So these are media controller keys, as well as the ever-present silent switch on the on the top of the 8520. Yeah, you can use these to interact with your library as uh, you know on the fly as you go without having to uh, open up the software on the phone. So that's a nice touch for the uh, the 8520 to introduce to uh, the BlackBerry line. Has a full HTML browser, uh, T-Mobile's My Faves, BlackBerry Instant Messenger, um, you know, camera application, uh, web to go from T-Mobile. Uh, we'll look at that real quick and uh, see the latest offering from T-Mobile. So here's web to go. The uh, screen looks pretty good. You can see we've got uh, you know some tabs at the top, and uh, I can uh, move the uh, cursor around with. Um, with my thumb just like I would a mouse on a PC and it works pretty well. Uh, we'll go to CNN and see what's going on in the world and uh, here are some headlines and a little drop down menu. The screen of the BlackBerry 8520 is good but it's not nearly as good as the screen on the Storm or the Bold or the Tor. Um, this is a quarter VGA resolution and uh, it's good uh, but it's uh, not the in insanely crystal clear uh, screens that are, are on some of uh, Research in Motion's other hardware. Back out to the main screen of course you can download Apps World. Uh, Apps World from BlackBerry is not available on the 8520 out of the box but of course you can download it uh, directly from BlackBerry.com so that is a quick look at the new 8520 uh, messaging uh, phone from Research in Motion. It is a uh, lower cost BlackBerry for the prosumer slash uh, consumer.